618, Todd Jeffries and Don Pryor. Hey. Hey, it's the Todd and Don Show. Yeah. A uh, little business news for you. And this is business related, especially if you're uh, interested in investing in one of those, you know, those vaping companies. Like I really Jewel. am. I'm looking very well, listen, seriously at that. Listen, more and more people are, uh, you know, using that kind of stuff. I'm such a fan. I mean, their business is just ballooned like crazy. It's become a... Uh, well, it's become a problem, too. Yeah. Yeah, the Texas Department of State Health Services is investigating suspected cases of severe lung disease in young people. A shortness of breath, uh, difficulty breathing, coughing, uh, you know, other very serious uh, lung symptoms uh, in people, mostly young people, who mm. report vaping uh, or, you know, using e-cigarettes. Yeah, that's spokesperson Chris Van Dusen. He says they were alerted to possible cases last week following similar reports in other states. Yeah, the department is asking healthcare professionals who identify cases to gather information about the products used and ask patients to save the vaping liquid in cases that they, you know, so they can actually test it to see what's in it. We want people to know that's going on, making sure they're sensitive to uh, those possible symptoms, as well as let doctors and other healthcare providers know that this is an issue they should be looking out for and talking to their patients who are experiencing symptoms like this to find out if they have a history of using these. Yeah, Van Dusen says they're trying to determine if the disease is being caused by, you know, a particular product or ingredient, that sort of thing. Yeah. And, and, you know, they're seeing other, uh, other symptoms like diarrhea, nausea, things like this that sound like the flu. Yeah. And it's just, come on. I mean, you're sucking something into your lungs that's not supposed to be there. The only thing that's supposed to be in your lungs is air. Yeah. That's it. That's wow. all it was intended to do. Anything else that gets in there generally is going to be a problem. Maybe the sweet perfume of your wife or well, something. Well, maybe that. Maybe that. Maybe that. The, uh, cookies. Sure, the, sure, the, absolutely. Well, not a cookie, but you know what I mean. Right. But uh, it, it, it's it's just not meant to happen. So I think it goes without saying there's going to be trouble. And as time goes on, we're going to see more. I mean, it takes it, a while for this, you know, to gather all this information and see the big picture. I don't see anybody freaking out over smoking. Smoking is more deadly than jewel or vaping. That's for sure. Isn't it? Don't you agree? Well, of course it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but there you go. It's a big problem in our schools, too. Well, and, and I mean, all the way down to elementary, bringing these things in and, and smoking them, you know. And, and the fact that people are starting with it instead of its original purpose, which was to get you off of cigarettes and then hopefully wean off. Of this, it's nicotine. Yeah. It's nicotine. Right. And you're not supposed to have nicotine in you. You're harming your lungs, but you sure do look cool. You really do. I, I tell you, that that big uh, wafting of smoke or vape coming out of you. And that Ladies s- like that. That smell of uh, mm-hmm. vanilla candy. You look so ladylike when you do that. Oh, you really do. Uh, 621. Hot. H- here on the Tide of Dawn Show. And things have changed in the Austin School District lunchroom, man. Man, oh man! Yeah, you remember your favorite lunch lady back in the day at West uh, Westlake High School? Well, yeah, I don't remember her name, but she had—I don't know—I think it's a prerequisite for lunch ladies to have the the big arms oh, because come on. they were sleeveless. Why do you go there? So you would have the flappy the, arm, the big flappy arm. That's that, called uh, that's called your bingo wings. I guess when you enter it, when you <laughs> when you raise your hand for the yeah. bingo, it kind of flops there. Bingo, bingo. <laughs> it's bingo wings. Flop, flop, flop. Yeah, I, I guess it was uh, during the interview for that position. They would say, "Okay, let's see your arms. Let's see your bingo wings. You're hired." What was your favorite dish to eat in high school? Uh, did was, you eat in the cafeteria? Yeah, were, sure I did. Well, you in, were above that. Come on. No, you did until you got cars or you knew someone that had a car, and right, then we would right. we would go to lunch. But before that, yeah, Salisbury steak kind of guy. It was uh, it was pizza, pizza, pizza. It was burgers. Sure. It was burritos. Yeah, it was the stuff I still eat to this day. Listen, the Austin Independent School District unveiled their new lunch menu options yesterday as an attempt to reinvent school lunch experiences for kids. They're trying to keep them in the classroom and in the lunchroom. Yeah, the AISD's 2019 menu will feature several global food options introduced to the students with some new foods, providing learning opportunities about different cultures. Now, some of the items AISD added to the menu this school year will be vegetarian manicotti, braised lentil tostadas, Mm. the mango smoothie. Made with local yogurt and homemade granola. That well, sounds good, man. That well, that sounds does. so delicious. That man. does. That sounds great. But I don't know any kids out there who are having that, hungry. That, that that braised lentil tostada craving. Hey, man, kids are kids today, man. They're they travel the world, man. They get to experience all kinds of things. Am I? Am Maybe I? Maybe you're, you're out of touch. Am here. I? I might be. Because you're, you're out of touch, Mr. Salisbury. Because I'm. I'm 
I'm smirking at this big time. Well, listen. I'm, I'm very cynical about this. Now, the AISD will continue to offer their fresh salad bar to students. That began that years ago. Do they have croutons? I hope they do. Okay. Uh, here's uh, here's what Superintendent Dr. Paul Cruz says. It's so important that the students have nutritionist, nutritionist meals. We want to make sure that we're meeting the needs of our diverse communities. Uh, okay. Okay. Which is it? Nutritious meal or meeting the needs of a diverse community? I have Which a feel, it? feeling it's more about uh, meeting the needs of, of diversity. Check in the boxes. Yeah, it's diversity for the sake of now, diversity. Cruz had an opportunity to taste the school district's menu options Monday at Dawson Elementary School. He didn't. Did he give a review? Did he give a Food Friday kind of review? Uh, here's oh. what he said, though. We want to make sure the kids uh, just feel comfortable, that all students are welcome in our schools, that we recognize their genius. Our school district is also the largest restaurant chain in the entire city. Well, Every day true. we feed about 72,000 kiddos that will go through the lunch program, so it's a really big deal. It's a really big system, but it's about providing different opportunities for our students. Make sure the kids feel comfortable. How about do this? How about just feed them the food they like to eat? And that that's probably a good thing right there. No kid is getting fat mm. or getting the betas. Mm. From what they're eating in the lunchroom. No, it's what they're eating at home. It's what they're doing at home. Yeah. It, on, you don't on, like a, a nice braised lentil? You know. You don't like a I got, nice braised lentil tostada? I, I got to be honest. This is this is an example of me making fun of something that I don't understand because I've never asked for that. I've never had a craving for it. I've mm-hmm. never had it. Mm-hmm. I've never had it. It might be the best thing I've ever had. Four stars. The Todd and Don Show.